This is a video I've been wanting to make for a very long time and I finally got around to doing it. Basically what I'm going to do in this video here is show some muzzle brake comparisons. Now I use a muzzle brake for competition. You, I think you really need a muzzle brake for those faster follow up shots. But the choice has always been which muzzle brake do you choose. There's so many choices out there. Which one's the best? Well you can dig around on the video, you know the YouTubes and see all kinds of muzzle brakes in action, people using muzzle brakes, and these, they appear to work pretty well. However, there's a lot of things that aren't taken into consideration as in how they're holding it, the, the rifle setup, etc, etc. So what I wanted to do is remove all, as many variables as I could from the equation and just see how the muzzle brake reacted on the same rifle. So what I've done in this video is I've taken my competition three gun rifle, I've strapped it down to a bench vise and switched out muzzle brake after muzzle brake here and shot it using a pneumatic uh, trigger puller, remote trigger puller. So there's no interference from, from me and nothing else basically. And the, unfortunately for my test here, the only thing I'm reading is the linear recoil. I'm not seeing muzzle rise or anything like that. It's just how much uh, recoil does the muzzle brake actually work for or uh, how much does it actually do. So basically I took the muzzle brake off and I shot a, the gun without any kind of muzzle device whatsoever. Uh, it recoiled a lot and surprisingly if you shot one round and the bolt lo locked back on an empty chamber, it didn't recoil as much. So if you've ever shot the AR-15, which you probably did since you're watching this video, you always, you can tell when your gun is empty because it just feels different. Well, it actually recoils less, judging by my test here. So, uh, so I decided to run the test with a couple of rounds in the magazine so that it would feed that second round so you'd get a real life recoil if you will because you're not always going to shoot the last round in your rifle you're going to shoot multiple rounds so uh, in my test here the gun will shoot one it'll strip another off the magazine and, and feed it into the chamber so I shot the rifle without any kind of muzzle device whatsoever to get my control uh, level here and so after that, then I progressively went through the muzzle attachments that I had on hand. So here they are. Wow, I know that was a lot of information to absorb in such a short period of time, but I want to keep this video short. To be honest, my results weren't as, weren't as interesting as I thought they were going to be. However, this is something I've been wanting to try for myself for such a long time. I, I personally wanted to know this information. And so here it is. Here's my piece of paper that I had taped down to the table. This is basically the edge of the table, so after every shot, it would slide back this way. Right in here is no muzzle device and a, a flash hider. So putting a flash hider on a gun is not gonna do anything for your muzzle control as far as linear, you know, X and Y moving backwards. And everything else, the JPs, the AAC, the Surefire, all the other comps seem to land right in here. This is just me trying to put more marks in here. It was difficult. They all seem to do pretty much the exact same linear movement straight back towards the shooter. So if, if I can get a conclusion from anything from this test, it's if you want to control some muzzle, do not... <laughs> go with just a straight bird cage put something on your gun and uh you know anything from from what i can tell even the suppressor ended up about the same for everything else so there it is oh and the uh pneumatic controller or the pneumatic trigger puller if you saw it, it's just a super cheapy that i picked online somewhere uh let's see the name is hands off trigger release pretty cool uh, really not sure what you'd need it for other than experimenting or maybe sighting in your rifle, but you, you'd probably need some a better rest than my setup. But uh, as mentioned, anything's better than nothing at all. Well, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.